Hi everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. Today we're going to be doing a linear differential equations problem. And in this one we've been given the linear differential equation dy over dx plus 3y equals 2x times e to the negative 3x. So this here is our original problem. And the first thing we need to confirm is that it is in fact a linear differential equation. And the way that we do that is by making sure that it is in the form of this first formula here. So in order to be a linear differential equation, we need to have, first of all, dy over dx here on the left-hand side. And of course, you can see that we do in our problem. So that's the first component. The second component is that you need y here on the left-hand side, and it has to be y to the first power, not y squared or y cubed, but just y. So we've got that. And it can be multiplied by um, anything you want. It can have uh, an x variable in it, but it just needs to be either a constant or have an x variable. But obviously, it can't have a y variable in that part because that would make this term like a y squared or y cubed or whatever. So that 3 there in our original problem is going to be p of x, which basically we consider to be the coefficient on the y term. So we've got p of x there. And then over on the right-hand side, you've got q of x. And q of x can be any function of x, and it can be a constant. It just can't have a y variable involved in it. And our, um, our term on the right-hand side does, in fact, satisfy those requirements. We've got x variables involved here, but we don't have y variables involved. So we're good. And you can see how these two things match up with one another. So we can see by comparing our equation to the formula that we, do, we are in fact dealing with a linear differential equation. So that's the first step. The second step is we have to calculate the integrating factor, which is given here by this formula. So this is the, this here is the notation that we use to denote integrating factor. And what we have to do is find the integral, as you can see, of p of x. And remember, we've got p of x over there in our original equation as 3. So we have to take the integral of p of x and then um, raise that to the base e, or take e to the power of whatever we get. So our integrating factor is going to be e raised to the integral of p of x, which we already know to be 3. So we've got 3 dx. Well, the integral of 3 is 3x, which means that our integrating factor is going to be equal to e to the 3x. So we found our integrating factor. Once you find the integrating factor, you need to go ahead and multiply it by both sides of your original linear differential equation. So we can multiply it by every single term on both sides of our equation. So what we'll get is we'll get e to the 3x times dy over dx plus e to, e to the 3x times 3y, so we can do this, times 3y, equals 2x e to the negative 3x times e to the 3x. So we just multiplied our integrating factor by every term in our equation. So now that we've done that, we need to do a couple things. First of all, we have to clean up the right-hand side of our equation because there's some simplifying we can do. But more importantly, we need to recognize that the left-hand side of our equation is the uh, derivative of the product of two functions. So you remember product rule from Calc 1 where we had, um, we had f of x times g of x and we were asked to take the derivative of that. And when we did, we found that the derivative was f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. And that was what product rule was. That was how we took the derivative of two functions that were multiplied together like this. Well, our left, the left-hand side of our equation follows that same format. And what we can see is that we have one function, which is y. So we can call that f of x, right? So we'll say that this is f of x, y is f of x. And the derivative, so we've got f of x over here, the derivative of y is dy over dx. 
So that means that the derivative of f of x is going to be dy over dx. So that's one of them. Then we also know, and this, it this kind of takes practice to pick these things apart, but we also know that the derivative of e to the 3x is 3e to the 3x, right? So that means that g of x is e to the 3x, and the derivative of g of x is 3e to the 3x. So we can, we can identify these things, pick that left-hand side apart, and realize that we can rewrite the left-hand side as this right here, the multiplication of f of x and g of x. So we know that f of x is y and that g of x is e to the 3x. So we can say that the left-hand side is going to be the derivative of e to the 3x times y. So we go ahead and write that. Then on the right-hand side, since we have e to the negative 3x and e to the 3x, when the base of your terms here are the same, you can add their exponents together. So negative 3x plus 3x is, of course, 0. e raised to the 0 power is 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So these cancel, and we're just left with 2x over here on the right-hand side. So now that we've done that, what we need to do is go ahead and integrate both sides of the equation. And this is just standard linear differential equations process. These are the steps that you're always going to follow in terms of finding the integrating factor, then multiplying through by the integrating factor, and then writing the left-hand side of your equation as the product of two functions, the derivative of the product of two functions. Now we're going to go ahead and integrate both sides. So we're going to take the integral of d of x of e to the 3x times y dx equals the integral of 2x dx. And when we take the integral of a derivative, because remember that this notation here means derivative, and then of course we're taking the integral of that derivative. Well, when you take the integral of a derivative, that means the integral and the derivative are going to cancel with one another. So on the left-hand side here, we're just going to be left with e to the 3x times y. The right-hand side, if we take the integral of 2x, we'll just get x squared, and we want to go ahead and add the constant of integration to the right-hand side. So once we've done that, the last thing we have to do in order to come up with a general solution to this problem is solve for y. We want to get y on its own on the left-hand side. So in order to do that, this one's uh, pretty simple. We can just go ahead and multiply the entire equation, both left and right-hand side, by e to the negative 3x. Because remember, when we do that, we, when we have uh, e to the 3x times e to the negative 3x, we can, uh, we can add the exponents together. 3x plus a negative 3x is a 0 which means that this term over here is going to cancel and get y on its own. So we end up with y on the left-hand side is equal to e to the negative 3x times x squared plus c. And that's our final answer. This is the general solution to our linear differential equation. So that's how we go about arriving at the, uh, at the general solution. I hope that video helped you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!